welcome back to another vlog, you guys. I just purchased something from that I saw on TikTok. Um, just a household item. It's not really big, but I'm gonna unpack it now. I have an account with USPS, and so what I do, I will like go on there, look to see what is coming for the day. And so, yeah, I have something coming. I just really can't figure out what I remember what it was. Because I can, I don't know why I can't remember where it's from. Then I ended up buying some stuff from Amazon so that this certain product could have the same aesthetic as my kitchen. The TikTok made me buy. So this is the Gain Power Blast um, dish spray. And so I hear everybody, like, I follow at least, like, 15 people who have, like, show this okay um on their tiktok so i said you know what this is the last time i'm seeing it i'm gonna actually try it and because i got this i decided to buy this okay guys so this is what i got i ended up getting this so that i can put the gain spray in the side okay and then it has this right here all right, guys, so I can't just have this gain green color, okay, in there. So what I did was I ended up getting something that matched to my kitchen decor. I have my bamboo, black, and then it'll be see-through, although it will be green still. I believe the solution is still green, if I'm not mistaken. Let's try it right here. Oh, it's, um, we'll see. You guys, it's only cost about, like, five bucks okay i think i got this i can't believe this glass you guys oh my god I, I hope i don't break it or the kids but anyway now we're gonna pour this inside is it actually clear yes i'm so excited it's clear i thought it was green for a minute okay that's good all right oh and it fits perfectly perfect okay so there was so basically this is a 16 um ounce and this takes exactly the same so this is a 16 fluid ounce as well but look i was spilling i was spilling some stuff okay okay but look this is cool so it has the it's a little gray up here it's not exactly black but it is still that dark black color and then it has the spray it has a spray head. So, yeah, this pretty much matches to my kitchen decor because I like the bamboo to stay to the color of the cabinets. And so, I'm so glad that it's clear. So, today, we are working on the pantry. I'll show you guys the finishing touches. I'm actually going to be working over it over the weekend. I'll show you guys once I'm done. But we have everything. Well, we packed the rice. Oh, I don't know which one is falling. But we have the rice set up in here. So we have all these. I went to discount DDs. Dee so we're just going to like pack them all. And then I also got this too. I got this so that I can make my teas. I really want my pantry to be together. And then here's a child <laughs> acting crazy. But anyway, I got this cute little um, drawer set. It's cute. And guess what, y'all? The lady at the store, let me get this for freaking $2.50. I thought it was pretty cute. Like, I feel like I can do something with this. Maybe, like, um, I don't know if I want to keep it pink, but the pink is really cute. Um, I don't know what I would use it for, though. I was thinking more of, like, on my makeup counter. But it's a cute little three little store. Just kind of tiny. All right, and then look, you guys, then I got a manicure set, a 16-piece um, mini manicure set. Can't wait to use it. All right, you guys, a good morning. Okay, so today I have a few things that I want to do. Um, I really, really want to, I really want to do my hair. But I have a feeling that I'm not going to get to it right now today. But um, I'm going to leave out. Um, I'm going to go to the drugstore. Because I really, really want to grab a contour. Because I'm going to do a drugstore, like little spring slash summer look. And I really, really want to have a new contour. And then when I come back, I'm going to 
cook me a croissant. I have these croissant breads and actually I think they may go dated today. So I'm going to use them and I'm going to make like an egg and cheese croissant, which I really, really like. And then sit down and write in my goals book because last week I really wasn't filming and I wasn't like getting to my, um, my weekly goals as much as I was when I was writing them down the week prior. So I'm going to get into that and you know, just kind of brainstorming some content, writing down some things I need to finish up for, um, just for the week, anything that I need to do really. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That's pretty much what I want to do today. So yeah, I'm going to head out to the drugstore and throw some clothes first. And then I'm going to head out to the drugstore and see what I can find. You guys, I'll check you out when I get there. I'm trying to see what kind of contour I can get. ravioli i'll show you a picture of, of it i thought the camera was filming and it wasn't so i'll just show you a picture of me like preparing it i was also rushing because i was cooking dinner super super late you guys this is a really good pan i just had to show it to you guys i'm going to link it down below it's from target this is the name of it right there good cook actually really deep clean this really deep clean this um and now that I deep cleaned it, I have hardly nothing in it. So I have to go back to the grocery store and get more. Um, this is the prego that I use, actually. And a little bit of the mix that I made to go inside the ravioli. But I know I'm probably going to be throwing it away. Um, I have eggs left over. So they wouldn't fit in here. And I'm wondering, should I start getting a double one of these? Like a, a double stack, but then I don't want to have like a bunch of eggs and they go to waste. And I bought these to like... Remember, like, when they go old. Um, I didn't put... Oh, I did put one on here as well. So, this is cool. And, um, I don't know. I just threw, like, my little... It's not supposed to be in here. This is actually supposed to be in the cheese drawer that the kids messed up. I had this all beautifully done, and the kids messed it up. So... <laughs> We're back. And then I also got these two, you guys. I got some Jacoma wraps. Um, supposed to be really good and like low calorie or whatever. Like 15 calories, you see that? Pretty good. And then this is my favorite dip, even though I shouldn't be having it because it is pretty salty. But it is the bomb. And I eat them with these crackers, but I don't know where they are. You know, just some onions. I don't have a lot. Some kale, Caesar. These are our favorite. It's kale, spinach, and Caesar salad. Um, I don't know why I have so many onions. Um, I bought them, then bought them again, didn't realize that I had them. That's why I decided to straighten up this refrigerator, okay? Um, and then we drank up a lot of waters. The waters never stay. And I'm not even going to show you the, um, the freezer. I'm trying to fix this. It's still kind of like a work in progress. I do some, I need to get one for the Oreos. Hey guys, so yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this little bit of progress I made. I said I would show it to you over the weekend, but I want to show it to you guys now. Um, yeah, so this is kind of like pretty much where I got it. Here's the crackers I was telling you guys about that goes to that dip. But yeah, that's pretty much what I started. All right, you guys, so I am whipping up my croissant egg and cheese and I'm ready to eat. Right, you guys, look how buttery and flaky and good this looks. It looks Actually, like a perfect croissant sandwich. All right, guys, we're going to shake up this chia seed chocolate. Uh -huh. Cold brew coffee and collagen with coconut cream. It's a vanilla latte. So we're going in with two scoops. Tell you guys how good this collagen coffee brew vanilla latte tastes inside of this coffee drink so good i don't even know what to call it because at first i was like oh i'm making a frap but then i saw that it was the coffee cold brew was a latte so this is really good you guys mixed in with the um chocolate chia seed plant-based beverage and also the almond breeze and then the vanilla cold brew collagen uh coconut cream definitely so bomb yes 
All right, so time for me to eat, plan my goals for the week, and put them into plan in motion, okay? doing a voiceover really quick because i don't know why i forgot to talk but i'm actually cutting out the combs in my wig and then preparing to you know start doing my hair it is long overdue so i'm just cutting out i think it's like three combs so i pretty much cut them all out all right you guys so i'm as you guys see i'm flipping on the hair I already flipped the hair on so um i was gonna do kind of like an off middle kind of part but now I feel like I want to bring it forward. Um, I'm kind of feeling like is my hair. I think I'm going to do some baby hair today. Maybe. Maybe, maybe, baby. But anyway, we're going to start cutting it down. Um, being very careful. gonna take this and as you can see I use it all the time it look like I use it all the time right <laughs> I'm going to um, get this part to looking like a little bit better oh yeah I meant to do another part huh? I forgot it has this little thing right here you see you guys where you can part easily so I don't really need to use the end oh god I got makeup in my hair I will do that. All right, you guys, so as you can see, the part goes all the way back here. So I'm kind of liking that. I got a deep part. Um, it's not free part, though, you guys. It's not free part. So that's just that on that. Actually figuring out what I really want to do with my natural hair. Like, I like to, when I don't wear wigs, I'll just have it in like a bun or something. There's nothing like extra that I do. It might be in a ponytail to the back or a bun. Okay, so we're gonna take the Milani. This is the amber color. I feel like it matched my skin pretty good, but which I really feel like I should have something lighter, you know? I should have a lighter um, foundation or concealer. I feel like the foundation sometimes looks better in my wig. See, look at me. I'm messing up already. Look. To Star Locks Pro, this is like a little eyeliner pen. But I'm going to do it to correct my part a little bit. Because I really want it to look a little cleaner than it does right now. And then I just kind of like rub it in with my hand. I'm liking these curls. I like them. I like that they're like wavy. And then I want to do my hair too because um be doing some new videos. I like how a little baby hair is trying to come down right there, but I don't think I really want no baby hairs. But let's see. Um, I'm just trying to pull in out some baby hairs. I'm going to let it be right here. Yeah, I kind of feel like it should be right here. I was using this to do the baby hairs, but I really need some foam and I don't have any more. I thought I did, but I don't. But I did a little bit of baby hairs. Um, I might need to work on them a little bit more, but I decided to do baby hairs just because I feel like um, 
I need to have a little different look. You know, I have a little bag of heart. Okay? And it look cute. Only thing I need is some foam. I need some foam. Because the foam is going to really have it, like, sitting down, sitting right. Um, the, 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 the got to be glue is just going to be having it, like, um getting hella hard you know it's getting hard and it's turning like white residue but i'm kind of proud of this side this side look like okay but this side is a little bit thick okay but this side kind of hides a little bit more and it look more softy you know it looks softer and i think it's because i cut on these two parts i cut more thinner pieces over here i cut thicker pieces and I kind of feel like they going a little more like baby hairs. This one is going, this one is going more like real swoops. So, um, I don't know. I might need to just like comb them up a little bit. I don't know. Yeah, I feel like they need to be combed up off of my face. Not, they're not going to be showing a lot anyway. It's like, you know. Um, yes, excuse me. Excuse me. Did you say something? Okay, excuse me, did you say something? Okay, well, this is an OG, this is Tresemme, uh, humidity resistant, okay, and I like that. Um, so, I don't think I have a lot left in here. Just hold a little bit of these curls. It ain't like I curled it, really. Okay, you guys, I broke the top off of this, and I really love this. This is a dramatic shine, but I don't want a dramatic shine right now, so I just spray it in my hands and just kind of, like, go through my hair a little bit, Okay. It's not a lot of parting action going on. Um, it really was supposed to go deeper on the side, but I didn't want it deeper on the side. I wanted it right here. And then I'll probably do like a middle part later. Give some baby hairs, give it like a little authentic unit lace frontal look, okay? So yeah, I'm, I'm enjoying this. I like it. Picasso here because I was actually getting things together so that I could start to film later when I come back in. But I was just looking and I actually put edge control on my baby's hair on my baby hairs and i'm kind of liking that. not really cleaning up my area but straightening it up so that i can have all my products um sitting right here anyway i'm just gonna up and open up what i have here what else did i get that i should be opening up oh i gotta do these other two. Oh, i can't open this one up because it's my ipsy so i'm gonna be doing um well, you'll hear, hear it here first, okay? I'm going to be doing a comparison of the Ipsy Glam Bag versus the MC MC <laughs> Versus the Ips... I still said it. Can I talk? Versus the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. So I'm going to do a comparison on both of these. I'm excited to be back with Ipsy. Anyway, I have two packages. I'm going to open them right now. This one just came. And actually, I feel bad because when I started doing my hair... I had got a message on my text messages saying that uh, my package was outside and it is skincare and I let it sit outside this entire time that I've been doing my hair. I didn't, I, I saw it and I was like, oh, it's outside. And I thought I'd be done with my hair quicker than that. And then I forgot about it being outside. So my baby girl just went and got it for me. That's why I like when I don't have on nails because I can struggle. I could put in some, you know, work on opening these. <laughs> So, yes, you heard. I got some new Charlotte Tilbury. Now, this may not be her newest, but I want it. Ooh, is she giving me some deals? Oh, the Magic Cream. I think I already bought the Magic Cream. Okay, I was supposed to buy this a while ago, but I think I bought the wrong thing. Oh, okay, yeah, I didn't get the right thing. Okay, so, I ended up getting some, the Charlotte Tilbury... Um, magic skincare wardrobe. So let me open it so you guys can see it. I wish I would have used it today. Um, but maybe I'll use it this evening. It says that Charlotte's magic skincare routine for 24 hour hydration and triple protection for brighter, plumper looking skin. Um, I think I'm gonna go back right now and order the bigger one because I didn't realize that it was small. I really didn't realize that. Um, so I think I'm gonna get back on the website right now and Oh my God, they really want you to shrug, okay? So maybe this is what I need to do. So this is the Charlotte's Magic Cream Instant Turnaround Moisture, okay? So I'm excited to use this. Hmm, this comes like that. 
like little deluxe things, okay? Um, and this is the Charlotte's Magic Serum. I am, I thought I was getting like a full thing. I mean, I expected this to be about this size, but not this. So I need to get back on there. I'm going to buy the regular size because, but first let me try it. I was doing, I was on the website. The reason what made me get all of that skincare stuff because I was actually on the website initially looking for my ultimate favorite setting spray. This is really my favorite. Super, super favorite. And um, when I tell you if a setting spray is supposed to do its job, it is the airbrush, okay? Flawless setting spray. I am so excited to have this. This is really one of the best top tier. Top tier, okay? And um, I have my other favorites too, but I haven't missing this. I haven't had this probably since like the end of the beginning of 2021. So I had to go back in and get this. And then I realized that my skincare products are dwindling down. And so that's what made me get the other one. And um, I'm kind of disappointed that some of them are really tiny. So what I'll do first before I go in and buy the other ones, because she's pretty expensive, you guys, pretty expensive. So before I go in and purchase the other larger size products, I'm going to try this one out. I just can't wait to use the skincare. I was actually on TikTok. Top, looking at a doctor who was showing someone doing a skincare regimen or it's like a nighttime skincare regimen that she was doing and it was so many steps so I'm gonna do that here on the channel and try her beauty routine and I'm gonna try for a little while but I want to show it to you guys what I'll be doing but I'm gonna try for probably like about a week and a half or so let's just see how it does can I keep up because it is a lot of steps okay that's all I gotta say it's a lot of steps Okay, this one here is from Dominique Cosmetics. This is her brand new. Oh my God, I'm excited for um for a brand new. Oh look, at she has the thing here. I should just give me a bin for all Dominique Cosmetics stuff. Cosmetic has a new hmm, palette. I'm excited. I'm going to be trying this out fast, 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 fast. Um, when I try the Rare Beauty, I think I'm going to do two videos and one. I'm not sure. But anyway, this is the moment, the moment, and I'm just not going to show it to you right now. I'll show you a sneak peek because I'm going to be trying it out here on the channel right here first, okay? So when the launch was going, I think last week, well, whenever it was. Anyway, when she launched this product, she gave a free um, Dominique's Everlasting Eye Base. So this is the crease. I mean, the um, the Everlasting Eye Base. So she's introducing a new product. Um, I do have some other products coming in. Anastasia. They changed my delivery date. And when I went to go check, there was no delivery date updated. So I'm going to wait for that because I am excited about that too. I'm, all, I'm always excited about makeup. Try to get some things more organized over here so that when I film, um, I will not be knocking every single thing off my vanity. Everything is everywhere, okay? So I will check you guys out later.